Hi everyone, it's Paul Barry at Cape Cod Mill Group. And today I want to talk about something that has great impact on your budgets and the cost of your various direct mail appeals uh, that is sometimes overlooked or misunderstood, and that's postage rates. Uh, and, and the reason I'm, I'm talking about this today is I had an opportunity a few days ago to uh, meet with a group of fundraising professionals here in Cape Cod, and we get into the topic of sizes of envelopes and where it can sometimes be a, uh, an advantage to you to change up uh, using what for most of us is the most conventional envelope that, that, uh, that we use in our mailing programs, the number 10 commercial size business envelope. Most all of us use this envelope as kind of the work costs in our mailing programs. And it was during that conversation I was recommending that they consider changing that up so that their recipients would, might encounter uh, a different size envelope, something that might look like an invitation or, or even a larger brochure size size envelope, something that would kind of keep the, re the recipient a little off guard and keep them curious as they encountered the mailing piece in their mailbox. Uh, and it was during that conversation that one uh, person kind of raised their hand and said, no, 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 we, we, we talked to the post office and, and they said we can't use those big envelopes, you know, like this one. By the way, this is a six by nine and a half envelope. And it was this very envelope that I was recommending to her as a size. And she said, no, 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 we can't do that. And I said, uh, no, that's not correct. So long as you're mailing at nonprofit rate, you can mail this size envelope at the same rate as your number 10. Uh, and, and it gave me pause because she was so convinced that, that uh, they weren't allowed to do this that she, in fact, had never used anything other than the number 10 because it was going to cost so much. Uh, and it got me thinking that perhaps there are others out there who don't understand that uh, this envelope and, and, and this envelope and this size envelope and in even the ever popular small envelope that we lovingly call the Ugly Betty. Uh, all of these envelopes are actually all letter size envelopes. And it's determined by something that the Postal Service provides. Uh, it's not, not, not a terribly exciting guide here, but it's very handy if you're working with designers or your Marcom people, or whoever it is that's crafting uh, or designing rather your outgoing envelope or any mailing piece. Uh, and the way it works is to determine if it's letter size mail is you place the bottom left hand corner of your mailing piece in this in this little square put it down there and so long as the upper right hand portion of your mail piece falls in this green area here the shaded area it's considered letter size mail so any of those pieces i just kind of waved in front of you there as small as the the ugly betty size and as large as something like this whoops something like this uh, all of those are done at the same rate. So uh, my suggestion to her was that she can reconsider uh, and, and look at different size envelopes because something that's a little larger gives you an opportunity to create that, hmm, what's this moment? Uh, I firmly believe that the magic happens at the mailbox. Most of us who encounter our stack of mail, mix our, some of our decisions are made by who it's from and what it looks like. And if your envelope has always been a number 10, there, there perhaps is a chance to increase your open rates and, and readership if you change it up. And in this case, it's a six by nine and a half. It gives you a bit a larger palette to put some graphics on perhaps. Or, or in this case, this is a, an envelope uh, many of you are starting to consider designing for your holiday appeals, your calendar and appeals. Uh, this is a, an invitation size envelope. This happened to be from uh, the Duke Cancer Institute. Uh, last year's appeal, and this is called a uh, an invitation size envelope. It's got a booklet flap at the top, so it looks like an invitation. And again, something like this is a, is a great technique for you. Again, if you're doing calendar year end, where greeting cards or in holiday cards are typically uh, caught up in the mail stream a little bit, and something like this will help your your open rate a little bit. So all of those things can be mailed at the same nonprofit letter size rate. And oh, by the way, one other thing, uh, another misconception a lot of people think like, well, no matter what it is, if it weighs more than an ounce, it's going to cost more. That's only the case in first class postage, which in many cases you're probably not mailing at. So it doesn't, you know, so you can mail this piece or any of those others I just showed you uh, at the nonprofit automated rate, at the letter rate, and mail as much as a three ounce envelope. So if you really have a lot of stuff you want to put in that envelope, uh, you can mail it at that same letter rate as you were doing in the old days. So that's my tip of the day. Uh, try to change up the, the look and feel of your, your envelope mix throughout the calendar year and realize that it does not impact your postage if done correctly. Uh, if you have any specific questions you'd like to direct to me, please do send me an email, give me a call. Happy to discuss your particular needs. But in many cases, uh, you, can, you can do an awful lot of creative things and still stay, stay at the same nonprofit rate you're enjoying now.
So until next time, I, I wish you a wave of results in all that you do, and we'll talk soon. Thanks.